So I grew onions for the very first time last year. I never intended to grow onions. I just thought they take up far too much space. For what you get, it's just not worth it. <sighs> a friend had some spare sets that she gave me. I thought, well, it's a shame for it to go to waste. So why not? I'll give it a try, see how we go. And I was hooked. I had the middle bed full of onions last year. It was known as the onion bed. And we were only growing two varieties. We had snowball, which is a white onion, and we had radar, which is a brown onion or a yellow onion, depending what you call them in your area. Now, we didn't have the best harvest. It was good, but it could have been better. And here's why. And this is what I want to talk to you about growing seeds today. It's because of my experience last year. So last year I grew from something called sets and a set is basically, it's like an onion that's partially grown so you're getting a kickstart and I planted them out in autumn which was the right time for the sets I had and they grew away and that's what I harvested last year. This year I'm growing from seed rather than sets. So I'm sowing my onion seeds today. Lots of folk have already sown their seeds and some folk won't be sowing them until throughout January. So it's not a set date. You can work with what happens for you. The reason that we're doing it now, Boxing Day, winter time, is because onions actually take a long time to grow and reach full maturity for you to be able to harvest them. Obviously, I say that's that's not right. You can harvest them when they're small. You can harvest them as like salad onions or spring onions or cybees, we call them here in Scotland. Or you can harvest them when they're really small and have them as pickled onions, little tiny onions. But if you want proper big slicing onion size, it takes a fair amount of time. It can take anything from, say, 100 days to roughly 140 to 160, depending on your garden. So that's why we're getting started early. We're getting started in the greenhouse using heat to try and get them going really, really early so that I can get the most out of my season. And that's what I'm doing today. So sets and seeds then. I'm going to tell you about this while I fill these trays up. Given we have a worldwide audience on this channel, let me tell you about the three ways to grow onions. So, seeds, sets and starts. Let me tell you about each of them and the plus and the minus of them and talk about what I'm doing today and why I've chosen to go with seeds. Simple as that. So, seeds then. I've got three varieties I'm going to go and I'll tell you about them in a bit, but Oh, tea delivery's just coming. Excellent. Oh, wee coffee. Th oh, look at that. <gasps> Christmas chocolate. because it's, it's still within the window of Christmas. The window of Christmas, <laughs> you say? Excellent, thank you. Oh. Of course, I can't eat these and talk to you guys at the same time, so they'll have to wait. Right. Oh, excellent, because it's chilly, so that is good. Now, folk in the UK, unless you watch a lot of YouTube stuff, you've probably not heard of starts because you don't really hear about it in the UK. Here, we either grow from seeds or from sets. And the people I know most commonly grow from sets. In the US, however, a lot of folk I know over there grow from starts. And a start is basically a seedling. Somebody's already got those going, and then you buy those little seedlings and you plant them out and that's how you grow. Now, the benefits and the minuses. Why would you choose one over the other? Okay, number one reason for going with seeds over sets is sets are more likely to bolt or to go to flower. And if that happens, you're not likely to get a full-size bulb onion. Or if you have a full-sized onion and then it bolts, they won't store very well. So that's the main reason to choose seeds over sets. Okay, the other reason, seeds are cheaper. Seeds are cheaper than both sets and starts. Packet of seeds I've got here, 99 pence. So cheaper, much, much cheaper. The other reason is to buy sets or starts, you're limited by what you can get from your local garden centre or supplier. 
Whereas if you're using seeds, you've got much more variety out there that you can buy. So you can try, you may want to try some heirloom varieties. You may want to try something that's a little bit cooky. You've got that option if you go with seeds, okay? Now, here's the thing. Seeds, however, you have to consider that you're going to have some failures in germination. Whereas if you buy starts or sets, it's much more likely that the majority of those will survive and grow. So it's just some things to think about. My choice for this year is because so many of my onions bolted. So I'm going from seed this year to try and prevent that. And this is the three varieties I'm growing then. I have got a white, a brown and a red. Now, choosing the red variety, which is, there's no point in me holding these up because the Premier Seeds packets, there's nothing fancy. I'll put something cool on the screen. But Red Baron is the variety I'm choosing as a red onion. Steve from Greenside Up recommended this one to me last year and I never got round to doing it. But they are generally, red onions are apparently a bit harder to grow in the UK. You don't get as big an onion. And he says that one's reasonably reliable. So I'm going to give it a go. White onion. Um, last year I grew snowball, but I couldn't get a hold of the seeds for snowball this year. So I've gone with white, sweet, Spanish. I'm giving that a try. And this one, my brown onion, was not a choice because it's particularly an onion I wanted to grow. It's a choice because this is one of the things that really annoys me on the, the on internet. Uh, any of you guys who have been with this channel since the beginning, you remember my pancake video from years and years and years ago. There are certain words that people get wrong, Scottish words. This is Ilsa Craig onions, not Alyssa, Ilsa Craig. These are a Scottish variety. Um, they are named after a granite island out in the, the sea in Ayrshire called Ilsa Craig. And that's what they're named after. I've got a wee bit of a soft spot because the guy that kind of came up with this variety and named it. He's from, well, at the time he was living in Girvan, which is a little town that we used to go on holiday when we were kids. And you could be on the beach in Girvan and see Ilsa Craig. So that's what they are named after. So um, I'm not going to name names of the other YouTubers who keep getting the names of these wrong. Ilsa Craig. That's what we're growing. So that's the three varieties. And I'm going with seeds. I am growing them in these trays, okay? Now, I said this last year when I did these videos. I'll tell you about what my choices are for what I'm growing in and why, because you have so many choices. There is no hard and fast rule about what you have to do. You choose what works for you. I'm choosing to do it this way. And here's the thing. If any of you guys watch Charles Dowding's YouTube channel, Charles Dowding's quite a fan of growing things in little clumps or bunches. And he does it with his beetroot, he does it with his onions. And it's one way of doing things, especially if you don't have a lot of space. A lot of folk, however, do them as single onions and they will grow them in module trays. And I'm gonna have to climb under this to show you a module tray. I'll be with you in a second. Try not to bump everything. This is a module tray. So, this is called a seed tray or a seed flat. Okay, because it's flat. Module trays are also seed trays, but you can see that you grow. This one's filthy because it's over there because it's needing to get washed. But each individual modules is like little pots that you can have individual things growing in them. Now that's quite a big one. When you're doing seed starting, you probably start off in a much, much smaller version like this, okay? And then you would pop them on up the different sizes, exactly like what you do with all other plants. However, I've just put them on the floor, so I'm gonna fall over them at some point. <laughs> However, I'm going to do a mix of both. Now, as I said, Charles Dowden's quite a fan of doing little bunches of things. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. But I'm going to separate them out when I plant them out into the garden, whereas he just keeps them in little bunches. The reason I'm going to separate them out is because if you grow things together in little clumps, you get a slightly smaller end product. So you get slightly smaller onions. If you were growing these to harvest them small, that's ideal, perfect, you could do that. I want them to be a bit bigger, so I will separate them out and plant them individually when it becomes time. 
We're starting them off now with heat because I want to, number one, I'm using heat because I want to get the maximum amount of germination possible. I'm giving these guys the best environment possible. I've got this big heated propagator. You could be doing this indoors on, say, like a, a warm windowsill above a radiator or something like that. I will be then transferring them outdoors in spring when it's warmer outdoors. You don't want to be growing them forever in little seed flats and module trees and things. Onions are incredibly hungry and they've got a really small root run. You've seen the roots on onions are just like little strings like this. So they need a lot of moisture and a lot of nutrition that's accessible to the roots really easily. So you don't want them to be stuck in little small pots where that's going to run out. Okay, so when you transfer this out to your beds, make sure you've new compost, manure, whatever it is in your beds to make sure it's nice and nutritious. So that's my plan is I'm starting them off in these and then they're going to get transferred out as individual little plants. The way I'm going to do it, I've got some potting mix in there. Now, potting mix, not seed starting mix, because they're going to be in here for a little bit as they grow. And potting mix is more nutritious than seed mix. But I'm just going to make little drills. And that's where I'm planting my seeds into. I'll maybe do three in each tray. And these are you're going to see these are really small little seeds, so these don't have to be very deep. Maybe a centimetre deep. And the idea is I'm hopefully going to have enough for all of my onion he needs. I may have a wee bit extra. Oh. <sighs> I will label now, because you guys know what I'm like. So, Red Baron. Sweet Spanish. And Ilsa Craig. So this is Red Baron. So what you'll see here then, onion seeds are really, really quite small. Hence you don't need to plant them really deep. A centimetre deep is fine. And all I'm going to do is just sprinkle that along this drill. Okay. I am going to have to thin these out later on, but that's fine because as I said, I plan to thin them out and plant them as individual plants, so it's not a hassle. And I'll show you guys how to do that. And again, I've mentioned this before, just to make life easier. I'll cover that over and press it down. Because we're dealing with such small seeds, you want to make sure your compost is nice and damp. You don't want to water from above because they're small seeds and they'll get all scattered around, okay? So make sure your compost is nice and damp. You can actually sit this in a tray of water and let it soak up the water. That's the best way of doing it, okay? So that's one done. Red Baron is done. Sweet Spanish. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about. I've told you what variety I'm growing. All of my onions are what are called long day onions. Now, again, you can see it's just little black seeds. They're all the same. <sighs> One of the best things that have happened in recent years in regard to gardening is the internet because it has brought us so much new information and it's given us access to all these amazing gardens and gardeners throughout the world. Case in point, Lots of you guys watch my channel, but you're not from Scotland. However, one of the worst things that has happened in recent years to gardening is the internet. Because it has given us access to all of this awesome new information and it's letting us into all these amazing gardens all over the world and giving us access to all these amazing gardeners all over the world. Now, let me clarify. I said these were long day onions, okay? Long day and short day are types of onion. They're not varieties, they're about the way the onion grows. Now you also get intermediate, which is obviously in between. 
but we won't overcomplicate things. The reason I've said the internet is also a bad thing is because we used to get our information about gardening locally from local gardeners and what have you. So we knew the varieties they were recommending would work well in our gardens. We're now seeing lots of options of fabulous things on the internet from people all over the world. And those may not necessarily work in our garden. And this is one of the things, okay? You don't hear long day and short day onions mentioned very often in the UK because it's not as big a deal for us. But it is essentially this. A long day onion, okay, it's all about the amount of sunlight it needs to bulb up and mature. So I'm on Elsa Craig now. So a long day onion then. The best way to think about it is how the onions react to the amount of light they get. So the amount of light they get triggers them to start maturing, bulbing up, turning into what you recognise as an onion. A long day onion does that when there is more than 14 hours of daylight. Okay, a short day onion wants less than 12. Okay, now here in the UK, that doesn't sound like too much of a big deal. And to be honest, it's not as big a deal as it is to folks, say, in the US that have massive changes across because it's such a huge country. But if you're now panicking and wondering whether you're long day or short day, I absolutely do recommend look at when your sun rises and sets in summer, so say June, because that'll give you an idea of how many hours of daylight you get. Also, okay, so if I put it like this to you, okay, in UK terms, Shetland, which is in the very, very north of Scotland, gets about four hours more daylight a day. And say if you go down to the south, to Cornwall, way down in the south of England, they get about four hours less. Gala Shields in the borders of Scotland is about the middle ground. So we're a bit further north than Gala Shields, so I've gone with long day onions. I know that my rough sunrise in June is about half past four in the morning, and rough sunset in June is about 10 pm at night. We have quite a lot of sunlight in Scotland in summer, if there's not cloud cover. <laughs> Okay, so that's how I'm thinking about this. So you could use that as a guide if you want, but I thoroughly recommend check out local sources. Look at what your local garden centre is selling. Speak to some of your local gardeners, okay? They'll tell you what works really well for them in your area, and that's the best advice you can get. So that is my onion seeds sown on Boxing Day. I'm now going to put these into that propagator so that the soil gets nice and warm. It'll spur those little guys on to germinate because they like the perfect germination temperature for them is about 20C to 25C. I'm going to keep these guys growing in here right through and I'll start hardening them off just before our final frosts. That is my sowing my onion seeds for this year and it is the start of Sow, Grow, Eat, Repeat with Eli. I'm bringing back the monthly videos where every month I'm going to take you guys through my plans for the month, what I'm planning on sowing, vegetables and flowers, and how I'm going to be doing that. And I'll be taking you along on the journey and we're going to have lots of grow along with Eli's this year. And I've got a little bit of a tomato off with one of my favourite YouTubers to look forward to as well. So that's what's coming for Sow, Grow, Eat, Repeat with Eli in my garden. If this is your, um, I was going to say cup of tea, but this is a coffee. If this is your cup of beverage of your choice, give that wee like button a bump. It helps grow this channel, but it also tells me this is the kind of content that you guys like. And if you guys want even more of all this awesome seed starting and growing and getting ready for the new season stuff, how about, I've got a whole video where I talk to you about the different containers I use and why, and I'll put it here. Have fun, guys. See ya.